Hey, hello, friends. Today we will talk about seed the flower idea to enterprise. Actually, I would like to say to you, like, it's a blog, and I'm just recording my voice, like, uh, voice and sharing with you as a podcast. If you would like to read that, I will share with you, and you can check it. And yeah, we can start. Initiatives, ideas, and productions. All are similar to the birth and growth of a flower. I had three different kind of seeds, so I threw them into the ground. Of course, at the end of the day, not all seeds sprouted, only some of them sprout. I realized that the story of these flowers are similar to the process of ideas leading to enterprise, and I wanted to tell it uh, through it. Firstly, I just separated this process into a few uh, subtitles. Firstly, it is ideas, revolt. The second part is creation. Third part is has progress and investment. The final one is benefit, value and flower. Oh, it's not final, okay. Having long roads, it's the final one. And I will talk about finally like my opinion about it. If we start with the first subtitle, which is Ideas and Revolt. Enterprises start with an idea, like the birth of a flower. The soil maintains its simplicity until the seed does not appear. There is no one around but small stones. Seeds are like ideas. Once they fall into the ground, they fill the soil and its contents with excitement. Ideas are started by those who are uncomfortable with the simplicity of the land. Entrepreneurs are like against pebbles and this simplicity. Sometimes excitement, innovation, risk and change become goals for them. And second part is creation. Plants that believe in the greenness of a single seed also begin to be included in the soil and revitalize the soil. These plants, which started to be a formation and a community, on, are connected to each other by their roots. Those who believe in the idea and those who are eager to green the soil all become one and contribute to the formation. The second subtitle... The other subtitle is Fast Progress and Investment. It's time to get rid of the external factors and focus on the inside. And soon, a new technique is found, keeping the plants warm. Thanks to this technique, plants make rapid progress. Everyone enters a long development process. My mother told me to cover the plant with a pochette and keep it warm. Taking advantage of the knowledge and experience of a different person can often take it one step further. So the entrepreneur also listens to the third ear and takes off his glasses. So the other part is benefits, value and flowers. In response to these efforts, a lot of new flowers were born and they formed a unique formation. Finally, the hard work paid off. Everything and everyone was comfortable until my mother dropped the flower pot and some plants were damaged. It was on the verge of bankruptcy, and external factors had a heavy impact on the formation. But most plants were rooted to the ground and survived. Those who didn't care about their roots were already withered. We continue with those who hold on to their roots. So the other part is having long roots. We were on the verge of major bankruptcy. As a result of sticking to values and being stable, we have overcome this and we are evolving towards a long-established structure that is growing. Looking at the growing flowers, watering your soil in the sun is one of the most enjoyable parts of it, and it's necessary no matter how deep-rooted the formation is. Keep going with our flowers that demand attention every day. Finally, influenced by the song I Can Buy Myself Flowers by Smiley Cyrus, I started to planting uh, flowers in flower pots. The development of these plants reminded me of 
entrepreneurship and I wanted to write such a short article. And thanks for reading the blog and you can share anything you want to add. And then have a good day.